Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We have a very interesting story today about the S25 series. Now, you might want to know what the battery sizes are going to be in these three phones. Well, here we go with that. They're going to be 4,000, 4,900, and 5,000 milliamps. And then you can see the thickness of these phones. And it's going to be a hard bargain not to want to get the S25 Plus potentially if you don't use the S Pen. The battery, again, is really close in size. It's thinner and maybe it won't have the best or the same cameras, but be pretty darn close to it. But the bigger story, at least from what I feel like and think there is, is that, and this will probably hold true for the Ultra too, but probably definitely for the S25 and S25 Plus, is that it looks like they're not going to have a SIM card. Now these are renders, but these, OnLeaks has a really, really good track record of what to expect, what these phones are going to look like. And if you look at all the renders, there's no housing at all for a SIM card, which would mean that eSIM would be the only option at the moment. Now, Apple's done this for, I think a few years at this point, and you could do eSIM already on almost every other Android phone as well, but you've also had the option of using a physical SIM. I've now took the option of just doing eSIM at this point, and instead of taking the SIM card out, putting it in, all that BS. I'm not bothered by this, I know some of you will be, but at the same time, if you don't like eSIM for whatever reason, you think it's a hassle, you think it's annoying, it looks like it's a reality with the S25 series of phones. Now, you also got to think about this in terms of they've been moving this way, obviously. It's already been an option. And for them to remove another piece of the phone helps them reduce costs. Even if it's just pennies, pennies over you know times millions of phones sold is a lot of money. And it, let's be honest, you don't really need it all that much either. I, I, I did it recently for the, for the first time on my main carrier. It was hassle-free, it was really easy. And then once you have it set up, you can literally transfer it from phone to phone right through the, the phone when you're using the phone. So it's not really a big deal when you do it. But I know some of you are gonna be hassled and annoyed by this. It started with removing the headphone jack. It started then removing the SD card and then now they're removing the SIM card. And I really thought Apple was gonna remove buttons and stuff as well, but they've actually added buttons. And Samsung, I thought, would eventually go that route as well, but it seems like we're gonna be getting more buttons and probably eventually it'll be portless. Once, they, once, in, once they're willing to make wireless charging fast on the Western world here, something above 50 watts or above 50 watts, really at that point, do you even need a, a wired USB-C charger? Maybe not. Uh, especially if you're a high-end Apple phone or a high-end Samsung phone, they'll probably be like, hey, you don't need it. We're just going to make you wirelessly charge all the time. But that's what the news is so far today with that. What do you guys think about this? Does it piss you off? Do you not care? Are you happy for it? Let me know. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.